Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. My name is Anton, I'm a director of product here at MuleSoft, and in this video I'll tell you more about the latest features we have released within the access management. Many of you might know that managing access is challenging, especially when you have a large number of users. Today, we're extremely excited to introduce you to Teams, a new feature for effective access control management. Let's get started. So before we jump into a demo, I wanted to quickly review the basics of access management within the AnyPoint platform. In this diagram, you can see access controls in the middle. For simplicity, they are abstracted with familiar CRUD. On the right-hand side, we have resources, such as API proxies in API Manager or assets in Exchange. Resources can be grouped together using business groups. On the left-hand side, we have users of your AnyPoint platform or organization. Users can be grouped together using Teams. So in summary, with Teams and business groups, organization admins can assign access controls as one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, or many-to-many. -many. Now, let's take a look into Teams in action. On the bottom left, we can see the Try New Features button. If we click on it, we can see a brief description of new things. When we switch over to a new view, we can also see that there is an easy way to disable new features and go back to the old view. On the left-hand side, we can also find the updated navigation and the new tab for Teams. In our organization, we already have a few Teams, and at the very top, you can see a button to create more. Let's take a look inside. Here, you can see that Max, Taylor, and Anton are part of the identity team. Anton is a team maintainer, which allows him to invite more users to this team. At the top, there are permissions, child teams, and team settings. In case your organization has an external identity, this is also a place where you can map teams to external groups within your identity provider. Now, as we know the basics, let me show you how Teams solve key use cases. With Teams, it is extremely simple to enable all users to view assets in exchange across all business groups. Everything we have to do is to click on everyone at Acme, a team that contains all organization users, and add a new permission. In our case, Exchange Viewer. In the next screen, we can specify which business group we want our users to see. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to add a new permission to a specific team. In our case, the identity team. When we navigate to the permission tab, we can find all permissions already assigned to the identity team. Here, we can also view all inherited permissions, including the exchange viewer permission that we added in the previous step. Now, let's say we want our identity team to also deploy API proxies to a different business group in Europe. Everything we have to do is to click Add Permissions, search the permission by name, and select corresponding business group and the environment. As you see, the permission is now added, which means that everyone in the identity team can now deploy to Europe. Finally, Imagine it is one of those times to onboard a new developer to your team. We want our new member to have frictionless experience and have the same access as everyone else. To do that, we go back to the Members tab, click Add New, and search for a new team member. In our case, Gabe. That's it. Gabe is now part of the identity team and has the same access as everyone else on his team. We hope you like the new features and cannot wait to hear back from you. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.